Okay, so in this video we will check out the app Speech Central again, an app to read texts, books, ebooks, uh, articles, or whatever up for you using text to speech. But another feature in Speech Central is that you can save text files as uh, voice audio files. You can convert text files into audio files. That could be very cool to have if you, for example, want to have a text manuscript for a YouTube video, uh, read out loud for you and save that file as an audio file. So you can have that in a video editing app later on and make a video of that. So here we have, for example, one ebook. We have an article from my own website and I also have an article from The Verge. And to get articles is also very nifty in Speech Central. You go, for example, here to headlines and here you can add different uh, sites. I have added The Verge here. You can add more by doing this. Uh, you can search for different sites, add the, the address manually and so on. But here we have The Verge. So if I want to listen to uh, a Verge article, I just click here. The Verge. Elon then we have all the different uh, articles from their web page at the moment. And then I just need to, for example, long press on this one and choose listen now now it saves the article as a text article here now i can listen to it amazon's latest kindle is matching its prime day price for a limited time by brandon witter a senior editor overseeing deals gift guides and as you saw there very easy to listen to an article but uh, if i want to save an article to an audio file. Let's say I open my own blog post about a video I did about Speech Central here. Uh, if I want to save this article as an audio file, I just do this. I open the article and I click on the three dots up here. And from the menu, I just choose export audio file. Click on that. Now I can name the file if I want. Uh, I can choose different voices, but if you are happy with the voice you just use when listen to it, then you don't need to change anything here. And you can choose different speed to save the audio file. I prefer using 1.0 here, the original speed of the voice. But you can of course do it faster if you want or slower. And here we have the audio file format. But I left this as is and save the file as is. So if I want to export this file, I just click start. And after the file is done, converted to an audio file, the text file is converted to the audio file, then you get the share menu built into your iPhone. Here you can save the file for whatever place you want. You can go down here and save to files, for example. And here we can choose a place to save it. So I choose downloads. It says Hemtnia here in Sweden because I have the phone at the moment in Swedish uh, but uh, it's the download folder you have on iCloud so that means that when I click save here it will store the file on iCloud Drive and I can get this file also on my Mac so if I click save now it has saved the audio file to the downloads folder on iCloud Drive that I have specified that I want to have the file saved to. So now I can get to that file from my iPad, my iPhone and my Mac. So now I can go into the Mac. We can switch my camera to my Mac, my desktop cam. 
like this and then I open Finder and from here you see the download folder here we have this audio file stored here on my Mac ready to be used in any app you prefer that is how easy it is to save an article using speech central app on your phone i think that's brilliant actually so let's say if i now go into files app and want to play that file here we have that so now i want to play the generated audio file speech central app is better and cheaper than speechify and voice dream reader pro speech central app is better and cheaper than speechify and voice dream reader pro text 2 Speech to read ebooks on your phone or tablet is an excellent way to read fast with good comprehension. Speech Central is a new app that I haven't used before that compete with Speechify and Voice Dream Reader. And As you saw there, very easy. I can play it on my phone, I can edit it on my phone, iPad or Mac. That is how easy it is to generate an audio file from the Speech Central app. And of course, you if you prefer using faster speeds and another voice and so on you can do that from the settings in speed central very easy to do uh, the different settings in the speech central app so i can highly recommend doing this it's so easy if you prefer having an audio file of a text file then you can do this okay bye